12 Pekka's the solo pack and a snipe the town hall he doesn't notice he doesn't notice the skellies and yes the skellies took down the flame flavor that is huge and now 28 belts with two super belts hold hold what's inside the flame flavor wait he's believing i got the wrong siege machine 50 versus 50 on each side here the battle day has started and let the attacks come in with super bowlers let's go we've got that warden up to the top side and stamus has got this ring base all right come on halo we got this right we fell short with crisper it's okay but we're gonna get this three star here as this warden is going to help clear this top side with a flame flinger that is already down now to the right side and he's gonna smash his way through we got both spell towers right on top of each other here a lightning spell could have removed a lot of value you know could have taken out both spell towers a scatter and a multi oh i don't i probably would have thought about doing a lightning value right there but let's see here come on halo blade you got every single attack matters yes i know there's a hundred attacks to come in this match but every single one of them matters it can come down to the very end as the warden hopefully does not get locked on by the grand warden ulti he doesn't but he's going to have to freeze this ground expo because it is on the warden being quite annoying as he's moving his way through as we're taking a look at the abilities that he's got moving with the jump spell over this eagle artillery there is a rage and he needs these bowlers there's the massive king coming on in we got more lives as that king is going to help remove the ground expo popping that warden ability out comes the triple ice golem cc which is going to come completely slow him down here the town hall needs to go down he makes him in invisible but the town hall barely goes down as the, the king comes back to life with the phoenix we got a giant down on the bottom side but he got slowed down quite a bit in the core here he does still have that queen now raging her up freezing the monolith does have the raw champion to utilize gonna have to burn this queen ability now there's a freeze on the ground expo as the uh, queen's ability goes off he's gonna come down with a what's inside this flame flinger if he can continue to push through we do have that multi archer tower to the top side with the diggy on the rc to look to help to try to stun that multi archer tower he still got a chance because that queen got some fantastic value in the core the warden's gonna help try to potentially snipe this multi archer tower to help this rc which stuns it what's inside of this flame flinger is gonna be the question the warden is now joining in with that royal champion out comes super hog riders and halo look at him coming through it wasn't looking too good when he was pushing his way through that town hall but he is gonna deliver for team finn let's go halo blade and that 28 seconds is all about cleanup now gg well done has a headhunter that giant is stuck on the wall the whole day it's not gonna do anything but it won't matter well done we get our first official three star of this match against the ring base and stamus goes down ghost is in for team finn come on ghost you got this we got electro titan we've got some root riders and we got that queen to the bottom side down here all right baby dragon as well i see you What's the plan? Do we have a couple archers? Yes. We got a couple archers and that flame flinger off to the left side by that top side. Where is the queen? Oh, he's going to recall this queen. Taken down on Dre's base here. This looks very similar to OG's base. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but we've got that queen pushing her way through the eagle. As that flame flinger is going to slowly move through the ricochet cannon rages up this queen to get this investment as he can get the eagle the enemy rc get quite a bit of value here very nice and drops a headhunter is it perfectly timed oh it slows her down a little bit but he does lure out the clan castle he drops the poison so he can kill the rc and nice takes out the rc and now he can deal with the ice golems very very nice drops the minion on this cannon as well here as he's slowly going to be dealing with these ice golems looking to help take that down flame flinger helps secure that ricochet cannon one by one as now he drops the king off to the bottom side gonna move this queen to the right but no he pulls that queen back lets that minion helping to secure the cannon and the queen is down south let's go we got the root riders the electro titans moving his way in towards that town hall but we do have that multi 
Oh, wait. Oh, okay. There's the wall break. I was going to say, you know, but he does have Rue Riders, so they'll just bust the walls open. So you could just drop jumps willy nilly here now with the Rue Riders, especially as the Rue Riders will just open the walls. Rue Riders don't need the jumps, my friends, as he continues his way through. Pathing his way towards that tunnel. There is the free spell. Get ready for this very nice one ability to help clutch up the core. What do we got in the king? The giant gauntlet. We got the normal abilities on the queen here. As the warden eternal tome has been popped. As he's trying to protect it. What level warden ability? He only has 15. Guys, remember, you should be upgrading your warden ability. Eternal tome to level 15. Because if you do, you get 0.5 seconds. You get half a second longer on your warden ability. I don't know why people are not upgrading that to level 18. If you have the gems, or not the gems, the ores, do it! Because you get a half a second, that's gonna be huge in your attacks. But I don't think Ghost needs it, because he's crushing his way through! Look at this, the first three star with the webcam on! And my goodness, pops it there and takes that down! GG to Mr. Ghost for Tiefen! Let's go! Pilot is in on Pato of questions. And he's got his super archer blimp. He loves this. He loves this strat. This is what he goes with. The double clone is going to go for the town hall here. There's the invis. There's the double clone. There's another invis. And rage is coming down. He wants to remove the town hall. He can skip through the town hall and grab the ground expo. Fantastic so far. If he grabs the smile lift. That's going to be huge. Wait, skipping through. Oh, almost taking down that scatter shot on that side. Come on. Go for that monolith. Yes, monolith goes down. Fantastic. Okay. But that scatter shot, unfortunately, was so close from going down. Drops the baby dragon on the cannon down south. Sees the value there. It's going to help take it down. Drops an electro titan as well to help move through this king. So far, I'm liking the value. As we're sending the. Oh, electro titan over by itself over there. I don't know about that there. But now here comes a root rider to the right side. That yeah, Electro Titan will do damage to the king, but won't do much after that. What has he got on the king? He's got the Earthquake Boots. He's got the Life Gem on that Warden. As he continues his way to this multi Archer Tower, and he's going to now use that Warden ability through the Eagle Shots. And that Queen's going to walk her way up towards that Eagle Artillery. Slowly making his way through, pulling a couple Seeking Air Mines. Does have that multi in the core of this base as the Root Riders are continuing their way through. And, oh, the Royal Champion's there. So, ah, the multi arch tower is going to hit the RC, but she becomes invisible. He freezes. The RC is clearing the core. This is looking pretty good here. Hang on. We got the Ricochet Cannon on the backside. Looking to take down this base. The King and the Earthquake Boots, which won't do much for the uh, Root Riders, but it will help the Queen. The RC lost her uh, Fox, so she's going to try to get a few more shots off on the Scatter. She dies off. Now, he pops that King ability, which opened up the walls. There's a lot of Rue Riders left, and Pilot! Come on, Pilot, you got this. Continue to path your way around. Overwhelm this backside of the Scatter. The Queen still got her ability. He's still pushing his way through. Opens up the walls beautifully for this Queen, and... Pilot, are you got a fresh triple here? My goodness! Getting picked in the 10th round, coming in, taking down Pathos Base! This is what I'm talking about. This is what helps your team win these types of wars. Pilot coming in. Fresh triple. Yo. My goodness. That is what I'm talking about. Pilot. The pressure is on. And he's delivering with a swag queen ability at that. With 29 seconds. Plenty of time left. And Pilot delivering with the Sarch. Root Rider attack, smashing through that king, and it's the three star. Let's hear it for Pilot. Let's hear it. Well done to you. Let's see. Alfonso is in with a Lalu attack here. He's got the balloons. Okay. We've got a Flame Flinger off to the left to start. And there's a Skelly Dona. Look at, take out the Clan Castle. The Monolith. Another Invis is down just barely connecting and grabbing the skeletons so he can help try to remove this value and yes cc's down easy and he has to invest that last invis and the monolith goes down as well okay eagle artillery is here what are we hero builders we got the nine gauntlet we've got the life gem the 15 on the eternal tome for the warden here as he's gonna push his way in towards the tunnel we do have an invisibility spell behind the tunnel so you do have to be careful as you make your approach, 
The giant won't target it either way, but now there's a freeze and Queen's ability goes off, takes just a few shots and the town hall is secured. The King's ability going off into the defensive RC. Take it or down with a single swing. My goodness, okay. Well, here comes the Lalo, the Ice Hound, in towards the single target Inferno and the enemy Queen drops. Ooh, look at that. He drops the Skeleton Spell and then the Headhunters so the Ricochet Cannon doesn't bounce and hit both the Headhunters at the same time. The Skeleton Trap or the Skeleton Spell absorbs those shots from the Ricochet Cannon as he continues the Lalo from the bottom side with that Warden pushing his way into the Eagle Artillery. That Flame Flinger is still going. It's about to open up near that scatter shot. As he needs to make his way through that eagle. He pops that ability. The haste is going to push these balloons through. He's got the raw champion's ability still intact. And this is looking good. Alfonso is taking down pilot space with the skelly. Donut Lalo. There you go. Alfonso with the three. Still brilliant attack here. As the RC's ability is slagged. GG adding another triple to the board for team Erica. Well done. What an attack. How do they get those values of the Skelly Donuts? I don't get it. And look at him. There it is. It's a three. Oh, he's got the stream up. Look at it. There you go. Thank you so much. Mr. Alfonso OP with the three star GG to you. Oh, he's taking on Pebu. Pebu was traded to Team Erica during the draft. He's going, yo, no, you're not. 12 Pekas? Kronos. Wait, Kronos, oh, I know you want to be crazy and all here, but this is craziness. 12 Pegas? Yo, okay. Okay, Kronos, Kronos. We got an archer, a flame flinger to the right side. What are you going to lightning? You're going to take out that air expo, the multi arch tower. What do you want? We got, oh, he's going to take out the left side scatter, the ground expo. The queen is down behind a skeleton spell moving into that monolith. What do we got for the queen? Normal abilities. We got, oh, a 19 giant gauntlet for that king. Jesus, holy. They are really investing in those ores as that queen is going to push her way to the left very early, making her way. Wait, does he have the diggy? Oh, the diggy was on the ward in there. Okay, okay. There's the king now down after the queen has cleared the monolith. Does he have the earthquake? No, no earthquake boost. I had to double check. Pekka in for the wizard tower down on the bottom side. Pekka up to the top side. What is the play with all these Pekkas? He's just going to end on the town hall here. Pekka after Pekka after Pekka. Head on her onto the defensive queen. Okay, that flame flingers continue slowly make its way through. There's the giant king making his way into the multi target portal. There's the warded eternal tome. Out comes a bunch of archers, archers, archers to that Pekka. There's a second poison to really. Do oh my gosh, Pevu with the toxic archer CC and an ice golem here. But you can hear the Pekka screams. The Pekka screams coming through. We got another Pekka to the bottom side. More Pekkas out of the flame fling or out of this. Yeah, out of the flame flinger. I'm thinking. I don't even know what to think here with Kronos. As he continues around with that Raw Champion, it does have two invis. But that Town Hall, that multi archer tower is doing work here. He does not have the Fox anymore. He makes the town, he makes the P.E.K.K.A. on the Town Hall invisible. Wait, he's trying to get the Town Hall down with the P.E.K.K.A. He's doing his absolute best. He's not using that last invisibility spell. There it is on the Town Hall. Wait a second, does this work? The solo P.E.K.K.A. to snipe the Town Hall. What? Yo, the Pekka sniping the town hall. I didn't even think about that. Yo, Kronos. What an attack. Jeez. He coming in and what a beautiful hit there. GG to you, Kronos. GG. Are you, are you getting a little nervous here, Mr. Atkins? You know? A little bit. Let me, let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see. Oh, okay. Atkins. The man who says he's an MVP, but we all know, is he? Is he though? Is he an MVP caliber? Look at a takedown. Gaku, can he do it with a queen charge? Recall super barbarians using the lightning spells does not grab the ricochet cannon. Was that the goal? Did he have enough lightnings to take that down? Oh boy, I'm not sure here, but it is low health and it's not getting repaired. So that is, it's not the end of the world here. As that queen has removed a little bit near this eagle artillery, as he's going to continue to grab this valley. Air defense is going down. 
flame flingers down behind this queen so oh okay so the flame flinger can move oh queen belly queen 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 that grand warden oh there's red air bombs off to the right side queen's getting hit by the warden and the ability is forced that is gonna hurt you don't want to lose a queen ability like that oh no is he freaking out here he's staying focused okay look at him he's zoned in here gonna push this queen into the ricochet cannon no ability anymore does have the unicorn but that will die to the ricochet cannon here as he continues this charge for the queen and bye bye unicorn the ricochet cannon goes down headhunter into the enemy rc taking her down and now continuing this path through pull uses a headhunter pulls out some archers one ice golem here as he continues his way through there's probably more ice golems inside the clan council so as he's got super barbarians coming down oh he's going warden in with that king but is his queen trying to path her way into the town hall no ability that is going to be rough as he tries to continue his way through but only a minute and 24 seconds left here as he continues his path into the enemy queen he does have two freezes popping that king ability with the normal hero abilities on his heroes here as he continues his way through there is the warden and there's two more ice golems but no rage no queen ability this is going to be very difficult to path through towards that multi-archer tower with the monolith standing there Atkins, you can't one star. Atkins, don't one star. Atkins, don't. Atkins! No, Atkins, no. He, he, he's just hoping he doesn't want. He's just hoping he doesn't one star. Atkins, no, he's smiling. No, no, no! He did it, guys. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Atkins, no. Wait, wait, he's saying hold. Hold, hold. What's inside the flame blinger? Wait, he's believing. Hold, hold. He's trying to get that two star. Hold, Rocket Loons! Rocket Loons! He got the two! Yo, he saved the two star with the Rocket Loons! Okay, everyone who predicted a one star did not get paid in the predictions. Adkins getting the two star. Oh, nice try. Ladies and gentlemen, my base is being attacked by Pevu. I drafted this man to my team and then traded him away to the enemy team. Um, let's hopefully that doesn't backfire. He's coming in with 15 hog riders, a flame flinger, a skelly donut onto the clan castle and the ground expo. Okay, is he gonna be able to remove it? It's gonna be the question. Another Skelly coming indeed. He's got one healer, he's got a recall as well. Sneakies activate the town hall. And, 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 and the Skellies, yes! They took out my clan castle, rip! All right, well, how's he gonna do this? That Warden is up towards the top side, scatter shot up here. He's dropping one hog to that multi-mortar. Ooh, the ground expo is hitting the hog, so he's able to take it down. Yes, he grabs the multi-mortar with one hog rider only. Drops a couple super barbs off to the left side. Oh boy, and here comes the early hogs. Now into here, pops that warden ability to protect the hogs. To take this section down. Moving towards this scatter shot. We are moving towards that, that multi-target inferno as he makes his way around. We've got the flame flinger trying to help go for the town as he pulls that warden back. Now as the Mylip is still up to the top side, but he doesn't notice, he doesn't notice, he doesn't notice the Skellies, and yes, the Skellies took down the Flame Flinger, that is huge! Okay, the Town Hall remains. Now what is he gonna do? Yes, let's go, my Town Hall is up. The Skellies by the Town Hall made all the difference as he pops that key ability to go into the multi-target Inferno. The Warden is replaced down towards the bottom side with the heroes. The Ice Golem into the Bomb Tower, the Town Hall remains, it stays up as he's pushing his way into the ricochet cannon. The Monoliths is still up as he sends the Royal Champ now into the enemy RC to the scatter shot. As is he gonna have enough? He's wall breaking across here. That Monolith is doing a lot of damage to his queen as he does have the regular abilities for the queen, but the town hall remains. The Skellies by the town hall made a difference as the town hall's getting repaired. And is this gonna be a... Wait, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say anything too, too, too early yet. He drops another hog to the town hall. He does have a freeze. He has RC ability. The single is there. But the RC's not going for the town hall. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's the first one star in this war, my friends. Against the... My base. Did my draft and trade pay off? 
was my decision right at the end of the day? Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, let's go. Getting the one-star defense. Now that is what I call a good trade. I was on the better side of that deal. Ooh. Am I going to be the defensive MVP of my own birthday war? Is that even fair? I mean, I got the first one star of this match. I will take it. Oh, Peibu. We love you, Peibu. But now when it comes to you being on the enemy team, my friend. My defense holds. Let's go. Well, one star. Ooh, I'm the only one star here, right? There's only one, one star in this one one star. Yeah. Can he triple a second time with the webcam? The pressure's on. Come on. Four team fin. Let's go. As this queen is off to the right side. We got a balloon to the top. We got the healers onto this queen. And no recall. So this queen's just gonna charge her way through this ground expo. As he's moving his way through the baby dragon to the left. Slowly but surely gonna move through this space here against Van. Oh, okay. Let's see if Ghost can take him down. Drops the balloon. Continuing this charge for that queen into the defensive queen. He's got a jump. He's got a couple wall bricks. There's a rage. Get through this enemy queen. Doing a lot of damage here, but we do also have a ricochet cannon. You have to be careful. He's going to lose the unicorn. Is that going to be okay? He's just going to let it happen. I guess he's out of range. So he's going to let it happen here. He's got a couple balloons. He sends the warden now with the queen. So he stepped up in there and then now have the queen walks out of this compartment while the flame flinger is going for this multi target inferno. Dropping the skeleton spell onto the Tesla farm, into the monolith. Now he moves his way towards the monolith and eventually the town hall. And look at that flame flame. It's going to grab the multi, the Grand Warden Altar, the Eagle Artillery. It can even grab the Ricochet Cannon as well as he charges through the wall break, opens the wall easily. Now this queen ability, unfortunate. Oh no, it wasn't forced. I thought I heard it there. And, but it's about to be forced to this ground next to So he pops that Warden ability instead to protect that queen ability. There's the jump to the back side of the base. This queen ability can power through the scatter shot, but hopefully it's not the, a bad CC as he drops the freeze it's a bunch of archers and more archers but he has an electric titan the ice golems go over to the left by the king and now the queen can help secure the town hall so he's avoiding the town hall actually so this is looking really good as the flame flinger is locking on to that ricochet cannon the queen actually is whoa he's hanging on that queen ability still okay now the ricochet cannon's gonna go down there's the queen ability locks onto some archers so the unicorn stays protected ghost as looking strong here as the RC is still moving through with the Fox. We've got that King ability here with that giant gauntlet coming through with double giant bombs on the backside. There's the giant gauntlet for the King making his way through towards that single, taking it down and goes delivering for Team Finn. A flawless execution here and goes coming in with a fresh Six pack with a swag RC ability with an invis spell. GG to you, Ghost. And Kronos is in. And what does he possibly have? Valks! He comes in with Pekka's in his first attack. And now 28 Valks with two Super Valks? No. Kronos. This can't work, right? A Skelly Donut to remove the monolith, the Eagle Artillery, the Ground Expo. No, Kronos. No, there's no, there's no shot, right? 28. I mean, I have used Valkyries. They are strong with the update. He's got that power potion to max out all his troops. As that flame flinger is being used to the top side here. Slowly going to clear up there. And he distracts that mortar so the flame flinger can continue its way through. Outrange. The arch tower. The scatter shot. The multi arch tower. That's some nice value up there. Defensive rage on the bottom side of Judo's base goes off as he's now moving his way into this scatter shot continuing his way through we do have one super belt in the mix here which will rage up once it dies so he's gonna try to let that super belt die boom there's the rage which perfectly is placed it's a perfect super valk rage so he's moving his way through so that queen is raged up getting through this section more valks coming through and there is the ice golem okay drop the poison so this queen's this unicorn's actually raged up from the super falcon healing the queen even more to full health wow okay 
Hang on here. There's another wall break to give the queen access to the town hall. He's just sprinkling the Valkyries around this base. What does he have on his king? It's the giant gauntlet. He's got the regular abilities on the queen. You're seeing that these pro players are using these regular abilities because when you pop that queen ability and she has the barbarians, she gets so much more power. That's why these pros are choosing those abilities over the giant arrow and things like that and healers because the queen becomes so strong. She could basically one, two, three, like four shot the town hall with that ability as the king now comes back to well he doesn't come back to life he just becomes giant as he makes that queen invisible and look at him just sprinkling around this base with these valkyries as he's got valks out of the flame flinger as well as a royal champion's got ability with a freeze and Kronos does it yet again how Jeez, what a performance with the RC ability and smashes Judo's base, which is nearly maxed with 28 Valks and two Super Valks. <sighs> okay, no one's sweating here. What, what's your attack? Are you going to do the same thing what you did before? Uh, it's a little different. A little it's, different? Uh, it's similar, just Rocket Loons instead of uh, Super Bark. Atkins against Beamers. This man is bringing 17 Rocket Loons. With six lightning spells, he's got an earthquake. No pressure, Adkins. No pressure. Rocket Loons to snipe off that multi arch tower right on the outside, and he doesn't take it down. <gasps> and the eagle doesn't go down too. Was that the plan? Was the eagle supposed to go down? Well, did he have enough lightning? I don't even know. Uh oh, he sends in a final Rocket Loon to help snipe that multi arch tower. It goes down. I mean, I don't think the eagle was supposed to go down because what was it? No, well, the monolith is over here. He wasn't sniping the monolith. Uh, he should have... Oh, he needed one more zap in order to be able to get that eagle. I mean, the eagle's not activated, so it's not the end of the world here. He does have a flame flinger, which he's not dropping just yet. He's really looking to charge this queen in towards that eagle. The e oh, now the eagle activates. Now it would have been nice to... Oh, queen, don't walk, queen! Atkins, your queen's gonna walk! Yo! The queen's going left! Yikes, he dropped... Oh, no, 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 the queen! Ah, the queen ability! Yo, the queen ability, yikes, and the eagle stays. Oh, Atkins, no, Atkins, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, no, the queen. He rages his queen up. The healers are going down. That eagle artillery, he freezes. The healers are barely alive. And there's the jump to bring the queen. He's trying to save this one. He's getting that queen back to the town hall. Her abilities aren't even forced, but he does have one more rage, but out comes the clan castle. We got archers, 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 more archers, super minions, headhunter. This queen's going down. Bye, bye, Queen for Atkins. Oh, no. Guys, I don't know how he's going to save this. Two, this. Atkins, no. Beamers is going to be like, I don't care what I do in this war. This is going to make Beamers here right here. This is going to make Beamers this year. This, and he uses the Warden ability already on this king. No way. No way. The eagle finally goes down. Atkins is like, I don't care about the three star. I just can't one star. I just can't one star into this attack. He already sent that royal champion too. He pops the RC ability. This king is probably not going to go into the town hall. He's going to go to the monolith. Yo, what does the king have? He's only got 47 seconds. I don't think he's getting that down all. Oh, no, no, no. That king, where is he going? He pops the ability. Hold on. The king will come back. He just believe the poison gets launched. He's going for the town hall. He somehow got that town hall back. The king is going for it. He's working through it. Can the town hall go down? Atkins! Yo, the king comes back to life. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, he got the two. How? Atkins is like, thank God. Thank God I he did not want. Oh my. Hey Boo, even Atkins got the two stun. Oh my gosh. I got the wrong siege machine! I thought I had a bunch! <laughs> no! Alright! We're in the way of the backup plan. What do we zap out? We need another target here. Um, okay, okay. I need a target. What do we go for? Uh, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna go. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do a water walk here. We're gonna do healers. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna char. Oh, we're gonna go out. Oh, man. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. We're gonna make it work here, guys. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna go ahead and use the lightning onto this. 
Boom. Get that multi inferno out of the way there. That might be excessive. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Uh, I guess we can just put the queen with the warden here because they can work together. And then we can put a headhunter down and get past the defensive king. And we're just, we'll just make it work. We'll make it work. We have to do it with the battle drill. We don't have a choice. We're going to figure out a way to make this happen. All right. Let's get another balloon down. Go search for some black air bombs here. Queen. Okay, queen. Stay alive there, queen. Get those healers over to her. Okay, there we go. The rage encouraging that transfer. And it looks like we are going north. We're going north. Here we go. Get the super witches down. Get the Prentice Warden down. And we will begin our path there. Let's get the extra healers down as well. Root Riders can go in right here. And we will throw a couple of wizards over here at the king. Okay, an extra balloon to go in. And we'll just go ahead and use that road champion with the... Uh... Okay, we're going we're gonna to rage up here. Queen. Okay, I don't want to go to queen ability. So I'm going to pop the word ability early. And we got the Crown Castle coming our way here. We'll pop the king. And I hope that we can... Not one star. This would be really bad. Right? Um, okay, so... We're out of rages. We're okay right now. We're right. It's open at the base here. Witches, just stay alive up there. Queen, don't go to ability. Ah, she went to ability. Okay, I could... I sh maybe should have burned a freeze right there, but uh, I mean, it's hard to say. Let's go ahead and put the uh, Road Champion and Battle Drill up at the top of the base here. And let's go ahead and start to burn freezes onto that monolith. And we'll try to get through it. I want to freeze up there so we can get the archer tower with it. Good, good, good value right there. All right, all right. Got a skeleton spell that I can use for the backside of the base here, but I'm going to use it on the uh, the monolith there instead. We got the hogs that we can throw down. Let's go and get them in now and get a couple of troops over there. I never deployed the battle drill, or did I? We never did. Okay, we're going to play it now. We're going to play it now. Battle drill in late, but not, not, good, not lost forever. <laughs> we got a lot of witches still moving. Oh man, oh man, guys, this is sloppy. This is really, really sloppy here. Got wizard chasing down ground skillies, but RC is still hanging on. Got witches still tanking. There goes the battle drill crossing through the base. Come on, what do we do with this? Uh, okay, I'm gonna put the headers at the top. I'm like, where do we even drop them? RC steps through. Battle drill drops out. Yetis, Yetis get the oh, road champion goes down. Ah, oh, rip! Ah, oh, we have to change the whole plan. We have to change the plan. I. I thought I could maybe have a chance to pull it back there, but we had to adjust everything and my queen went down So early lost her ability early and she just kind of passed everything up there Man, Can't get through this bottom quarter though We did what we could with what we have but we messed up we messed up Pavu is pissed Pavu is mad, mad, mad. He wants to get that three star and he wants to redeem himself with the barge. Okay. He's trying to say, you know what, Carbon? I can pull all my inner clouds. I'm just saying, Pavu, in order to get three stars, you have to get the town hall down. I'm just saying, Pavu, just try to help you teach, help teach you a little bit about Clash Clans. Just so you know. Just so you know. Looking to take down Ghost. Can he do it? Can he take down the base builder? Ghost who's helping Team Finn. Ooh, recalls that queen right off the bat there. And a flame flinger is gonna go in towards this eagle artillery. He's got seven Valks in the mix. Okay, okay. That sneaky goblin to the bottom side. He's gonna move his way through. Got a couple archers into that air defense up top. Time is a ticking, Mr. Pevu. We got ground skellies running off to this warden, working on the ground expo. Flame flingers working through the seagull. And he does wall break that wizard tower here. What else will Pebu get here? The king is going to make his way into the monolith. He dropped it onto that gold storage, so it goes from gold storage to the left, down, and around. If he dropped it on the other building, he would have went up. It's those small details that these players know how to do but he does drop a skeleton spell a freeze of the mile there's the king it comes a giant king through here as he continues his way through towards that town hall the valk need to make their way to the town hall out comes the clan castle of archers 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 ice golems really just slow him down with a lot of valkyries have died hey boo town hall hey boo still got the warden ability you never used it for the valks no no he, he's got the town hall secured, right? This queen will make her way there with ability, right? There's no way she doesn't get that town hall. But he's not just going for the two-star. He's going for a three-star. 
Hey, Luke continuing into the town hall here with the ability. Okay, so the town hall will get secured. Popping the ward ability now, which was actually forced. So he didn't use it on purpose there. But that queen is utilizing that ability. And the warden has become invisible. Do you like that new grand warden skin? The invisible warden? <laughs> Rip, whenever he jumps walls, I think this is what happens. As the RC continues her way down south, but the ricochet cannon is down to the bottom side. Barbarians, a headhunter, balloons, all coming through. This queen is staying alive. The RC ability is forced. Does have the... No, the fox is dead. No, the fox is actually still alive. So the RC will become invisible yet again. Super minions coming out of the defensive side here, but he's only got 26 seconds. Time is a ticking. It's all about the time that multi-archer tower is going to be able to hopefully maybe take down that royal champion. Can Pevu get redemption? Yo, Pevu is redeeming himself here. No corner buildings. And he takes down Ghost. All right, Pevu. Well done. Getting the three star with the barbarians and archers. And that concludes day number one of the birthday war as we get ready for day two, which comes tomorrow. So be sure not to miss that.